Good evening. President Trump said on Twitter today that he used tough language, but not the words others attributed to him during a controversial Oval Office meeting. A number of those in attendance yesterday described the comments as profane and racist. Today there was new reaction and new recollections of the day. Here is Chief White House Correspondent Major Garrett. In the face of new allegations of racism, President Trump today signed a proclamation honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. No matter what the color of our skin or the place of our birth, we are all created equal by God. And ignored reporters' questions. Mr. President, are you a racist? During a bipartisan Oval Office meeting on immigration yesterday, the president allegedly said of Haiti, El Salvador, and countries in Africa, why do we want all these people from expletive countries here? We should bring in more people from places like Norway. On Twitter today, he wrote, This was not the language used, although the president did not specify what language he was referring to. He added, Never said anything derogatory about Haitians other than Haiti is, obviously, a very poor and troubled country. It is not true. He said these hate-filled things, and he said them repeatedly. Illinois Democratic Senator Dick Durbin attended the meeting. He used these vile and vulgar comments, calling the nations they come from the exact word used by the president, not more, not just once, but repeatedly. Durbin said South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham pushed back against the president. In a statement, Graham said, I said my piece directly to him. But his fellow Republican Senators David Perdue and Tom Cotton said they, quote, did not recall Mr. Trump using a vulgarity. Both are stalwart supporters of the president. House yeah, Speaker I, Paul I Ryan reacted today in night. Wisconsin. Uh, so first thing that came to my mind was very unfortunate, um, unhelpful. Utah Republican Congresswoman Mia Love, whose parents emigrated from Haiti. I doubt that a comment like that would have been made if somebody like me is sitting across the table from you. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. The president has been accused of making racially charged comments before. Last summer, he sparked controversy over his reaction to violence at a white supremacist march in Virginia. And during the campaign, his calls for a Muslim ban and attacks on a Mexican-American judge drew condemnation. But they're saying, is Donald Trump a racist? I am the least racist person that you've ever looked at, believe me. Governments in Haiti, Botswana, and Senegal requested meetings with U.S. Embassy representatives in those countries to formally complain about Mr. Trump's remarks. And the African Union, which represents 55 countries on the continent, said the president's remarks dishonor respect for human dignity. Jeff? Major, thank you very much.